Hi, I'm Zoe Ko, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. What's up, guys? Rob here from Real Live Entertainment. I'm hanging out here with Zoe Co, and I'm Hi. super excited. I just got introduced to your music, and I, the, the last two days, I'm I'm a two day old fan. Oh shit! Um, hey, girl. <laughs> the last two days, I've been just like on your Spotify, listening to every single track, oh. and I love your sound. Oh my god, thank you. So uh, <laughs> we will we will definitely dive into that a little bit more into the interview. But congratulations with the signing right now with Big Loud Thanks. Rock. Um, so cool. It's how so cool. did this happen for you? Like, oh dude, I mean like. I mean, I've been in the music industry yeah, being absolutely. a musician for a while, but like I like literally ever since high school, I like started doing programs or internships yeah. at a record label, whatever. So I feel like it was destined, but no, I like <laughs> basically I like just finally decided to put put my music out there and like release for the first time, like, yeah. I guess a year and a half coming on two years now ago. Yeah. And um, I was just so indie. I didn't even have my manager at the time, you know, and um and then, yeah, I don't know, like that very first release just like started the ball rolling so fast yeah. and just met with like every every single a &R out there. And I was like, <laughs> hi, you know, um, and it was just so weird. It was like dating around. Yeah. You know? It's like a weird speed dating. Process. <laughs> yeah, it was like so interesting and strange and like nothing ever felt right. Like I could never like fall in love, you know. <laughs> and so, yeah, eventually I ended up like signing like a kind of middle ground thing mm. of like. A production deal with my main collaborator Johnny Shore, and nice. then his manager and like a consultant and A and R in the industry, Evan Lipschitz, and um, that was like perfect, like being able to financially, you know, <laughs> support the project <laughs> a little bit and my own life and yeah. whatever, but not be fully signed yet. Mm. And then um, Evan started working at Big Loud, and naturally, it just like you know, I just went in for a meeting, really didn't think any anything of it, and I felt like. You know, you fall in love when you don't expect it. And um, it kind of just happened like that. Like it was just That's an incredible. immediate connection and stuff. That's incredible. Yeah. I recently started working with them a little more. And like I've fallen in love with the way they run things, but also like mm -hmm. the artists that they have because yeah. they're every single artist on this label is just incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, you included. Please. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see how this like label is going to start to grow and mm -hmm. how these artists are going to grow as well because you actually get the attention that you deserve like <laughs> yeah. something that doesn't i mean Insane. it's it's kind of unfortunate when you get with <laughs> yeah. major or bigger labels um during this process of the signing like did that now that you have like this kind of team behind it did that change the way that you create now because now you can just focus on your music mm -hmm. <laughs> no i know i was like literally like directing and editing my videos yeah. and everything Doing myself it all. in the beginning yeah bartending on the side Fully, yeah. fully a full time musician now for the first time ever, <laughs> which is insane. And um, yeah, no, I mean, like, I get to just kind of like be the bratty, dramatic artist. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, like, I need a stylist for this. I and need I a coffee. Like, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think like I'll always be like an indie musician, like yeah. in my heart, because I've done that for so long, and I fell in love with music and being ours in that way. Yeah. So I think like though, yeah, like now my responsibilities have shifted. Like my mindset is still the same in yeah. the sense of like I'm hustling just as hard so yeah I don't know. that's awesome <laughs> that's awesome it's always exciting like when you when it happens without you like really trying mm -hmm. to you know because there's those artists that like are doing it genuinely because they want to create music and there's those that are pursuing that label and the music either fails or like they just never get to that point where they get to somewhere mm -hmm. um so I guess it's like it must be like a cool feeling that like everything's just kind of like following the footsteps that they need to be following like without you really trying no it is it's so special I mean like I literally because I like journal every night yeah. and like you know just reflecting back on even like a year or two ago like I had this little like answer a question a day thing for five <laughs> years and in like 2021 like my year resolution was like just release a song yeah. you know and now it's like and then 2022 is like oh like you know put out a project or whatever and yeah. now it's like all the biggest little dreams I ever had are like really happening really and cool. I just like I'm so floored by it all the time but yeah. really cool and along with the signing you dropped a new single dirt, dirt um which is the debut dirt. single for this <laughs> this this new signing um this is another collaboration with with johnny as well mm -hmm. um and you guys have been working together for like a few tracks already on board yeah. this is the first time i think that you yeah, guys started yeah. to collaborate together <laughs> big throwback <laughs> how did he's right like how did that first collaboration like really start and do you remember that experience like in the studio or wherever you guys like started to record or write together oh yeah i mean like 
I always say it was like I'm always I was always looking for my like Phineas to my Billy or whatever <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> and uh, or my my Dan to my Olivia yeah and um and yeah Johnny was just that like immediately it was funny like he played hard to get at the beginning Damn. and we had to like grab coffee before we had a session <laughs> but then we hit it off and then we made um tangerine the very first session petri just was our se- second session and mm-hmm. like just immediately we were like oh there's like something here and like we're having like a lot of fun so maybe we should like keep doing it yeah um and then yeah immediately i was just like can i bring my old demos to you and like you know really start building a sound and like world with you um and yeah it just like happened really seamlessly and yeah. now we're business partners <laughs> yeah that's incredible <laughs> you know? I, and I, I feel like that helps too like if you if you decide to get more vulnerable with your music or whatnot like you have someone that you can like actually trust in the studio it doesn't have to feel weird or like you don't have to put a wall up Mm -hmm. before you can finally be comfortable yeah um now that you guys have like created more music together and like have this kind of chemistry Mm -hmm. how has that kind of evolved over the years and you know with this new song dirt like how different was that experience now yeah i mean like i feel like even though i'm 23 now like i'm still like growing up with him in a sense and and i was like going through so much with my family with my life Mm. being yeah a young adult for the first time paying my own bills every little thing in my life was happening, you know, and changing. Big girl pants are on. (laughs) Yeah, literally. I was like, wow, these are fat pants. Um, And yeah, I think like he just saw me go through all of that like introspective and like Mm. reflective work and it all came out in that studio and like, and yeah, with him, he, I, and like, I always would make fun of him. I'm like, you're like my therapist. Like I come in and sit <laughs> on your couch studio or whatever, and like, or the studio couch. And, yeah. and then he'd be like, what are we going to write today? Like, how do you feel? Man. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> you know. But th- that's the thing. That's the thing that like people don't realize, at least the fans don't realize. It's like that kind of question is probably very common in the music yeah. industry or in the studio. But it's like such a question where like, if you don't know the person, like you don't know what you're going to get back or you don't know if you're ready to get. What oh, you're yeah. You like you're like not ready to fully spill <laughs> your life, you know, <laughs> to some random stranger. So, yeah, it was very nice. Like, yeah, having I mean, he's like one of my best friends now. So did Johnny have like uh, somewhat of a say or some kind of impact on you kind of discovering your sound, your style and your vibe in, in the music that you're creating? Yeah. I mean, like, I think both of us like have very similar like loves for artists and Mm. and references and um exposure growing up and so naturally we would like like we'd plan a session and the whole session was actually not making music at all it was just like listening to music together (laughs) and it was like so emo and stupid but it like it did shape us a lot and it was like um i remember like finishing the ep and like getting like a whole week with him in the studio and like half of it was like legitimately just us like geeking out over music (laughs) and like figuring out yeah what things to like Mm. pull from you know and um figuring out yeah more how to build my sound from what we already started yeah yeah i love that when i listen to your music your voice has so many different personalities in every single song (laughs) and she she changes oh my (laughs) goodness like i love it because it it, you know i'm I'm never bored like i it's always changing i never know what to expect Mm -hmm. um dirt being one of them and with dirt you also you brought this like guitar riff Mm -hmm. uh into the track um, so, you know, what is that creative process like for you? Like, do you come into this writing session knowing the kinds of sounds, the kinds of like characters that your voice is going to have? Or is this something that you write first and then they just naturally come out? It it kind of like all kind of like happens at the same time. <laughs> like, it's never like, OK, now I'm going to do this. Like, it also yeah. just kind of like, I mean, me, myself, like I'm just constantly like, you know, <laughs> in life. And so it happens when I'm making music, too. So I like literally went into the studio started ranting to johnny it was like three weeks of me moving to la and i was yeah. like oh my god like metaphorically speaking where's all the dirt because all these la bitches are so cool and clean and i don't understand <laughs> and like i feel like a rat from new york <laughs> and yeah i was just like missing clubbing and i was like can't find a decent club for my life here whatever <laughs> i was being very dramatic and then i yeah i was just like can we make a song called dirt and it's just like a, a dance track with a lot of like insane electric guitars on it and i just want to shout dirt a lot and he was like yeah cool (laughs) and now we have dirt (laughs) and it was like honestly a joke and then and then i didn't like it for a while because i was like this is so weird and now and now it's doing whatever it's doing so yeah would you say that this is probably like the the easiest song to release or the maybe the hardest song to release or create i don't even know i mean like i think it was the hardest one to create for me actually because it Mm. was so like risky or whatever like weirder um (laughs) just a little like untamed you Mm. know for me and i'm like 
pretty much I'm pretty overthinking and stuff. So I like really forced myself not to with this one. And that was hard. Like I just yeah. kind of like analyzed the lyrics so hard and made them less weird. Like there was like a whole month of me being how different like, was it? it no and then we reverted back to the original <laughs> johnny was like i told you it's oh, not that crazy but yeah no so now it's basically just the original song but there was like multiple iterations of it that's insane yeah, yeah no I, I love when when music sounds like math like it's like you're trying to like change it up or like figure right. out what goes where in those pockets right. with pockets how does that impact your vocals and like kind of figuring out like where your vocal tone or delivery is going to land mm -hmm. I mean I definitely like do think of it as like kind of like taking on a character like mm. when I'm doing the song and like yeah dirt is so <laughs> is so dirt so I just like really needed to be this like silly I don't know like crazy girl <laughs> like, from New York and I had to like I don't know like have this weird conversational tone in the yeah. verses that I like hadn't really sung with before that was really funny just being like hey hot Nowhere. Like that was crazy. It was like such a joke for me and Johnny in the in the vocal booth. We did that so many times, and I was like, I can't keep doing. It's that. like you're making fun of people, and then right. it, boom, it's it's the song. Right. <laughs> and then my favorite part was like taking on the different like gang vocals. Mm. All the gang vocals are just me. Really. And, so it, and it sounds like a lot of people. It does sound like it's so many people, and <laughs> that that was another me. thing that I really loved. I was like, I, I, you know, I grew up from the warp tour world, yeah. so like I'm used to gang vocals every single time. So bringing that back into that song, I was like, this is dope. But Dude, I didn't know my but my voice could even go that low. Like, I was in there going, do, 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 do. It was great. I was like, and then Johnny was like, is that what you said? You in there? It was, it was fun. It yeah. It was very fun. Why, why an in, like, a dance type of vibe for the track? Honestly, like, I, like, well, I went to Berlin, like, the summer before. Mm. Discovered EDM music, like every 22-year-old <laughs> girl does. And, changed your life. Yeah, literally changed my <laughs> life. And I just, like, literally was just on one and yeah. could not listen to any other music except, like, every now and then if I was really sad, I'd put on, like, Gracie Abrams. But other than that, it was, like, hard EDM oh, and dance music yeah. and, like, going back into, like, LCD sound system stuff. So I was just, like, and then clubbing a lot. So mm. I was just, like, listening to dance music, like, on crack. And <laughs> I was like, I guess I got to do a dance track. <laughs> so, but then, like, make a little Zoe and put a little, you know, electric guitar on it. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> how did that change the dynamics of how you kind of create in the studio since you kind of changed the sound and the vibes, I guess, in the, at the same sense? I mean, like, honestly, Dirt has allowed me to just be, like, a little crazier mm. and, like, really commit to sounds like I think like I always wanted to make like pop rock yeah. but like I didn't know like how crazy you could get or like how much I should go for things I mean it's your stuff. music and do whatever you I want know, I know like you know it's just like <laughs> the people pleasing side of me yeah. but um it's just interesting like every time I take more of a risk it usually pays off yeah. and so like I need to like keep reminding myself you gotta start that. trusting the process yeah, I do <laughs> <laughs> what would you say was the biggest risk on the song I would say the lyrics, yeah. personally, because it's just like, yeah, I like I'm saying some weird shit in there. There's one lyric that we changed. I don't even remember what it was, but now it's like where I'm from. We know how to have more fun. Mm. I don't know what weird lyric was there before, but it was weird. And <laughs> we were like, no, 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 that one's a little weird. <laughs> You're but, revealing a little too much, right? Yeah, now. it was a little too much, <laughs> girly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you when you look back at the Baby T V P and then you listen to this new track, like, do you feel like this evolution is pretty random or do you feel like it's a natural kind of progression in your sound and style and like who you are today as, mm -hmm. a, as an individual? It's so hard. Like, and even like in my thousand like A&R meetings, yeah. like I've been really criticized for the, like how versatile my music mm -hmm. is. And I criticize myself for it. I think like it's, it's very interesting. Like you want a cohesive sound. You want a cohesive do we? brand. I don't know. Who, do I don't we? know I don't who wants know. a cohesive sound. Like maybe <laughs> if I was fake, I if guess. I was listening to older bands that I right. grew up listening to, like of course I want to listen to the same kind of pop punk mm -hmm. kind of sound. But like today, I feel like the experimental stuff mm -hmm. is like what's really like drawing people's attention. Right. So I think like I I I mean personally in my own life, mm. I understand the natural progression. Yeah. The people in my life, like my friends who listen, you know, do as well. She moves to LA and then she turns out weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Literally, <laughs> like, I was like, I gotta be even crazier now. <laughs> I gotta represent, you know. But yeah, no, I think like I do understand the progression. Yeah. And I think it's more it's just like me committing harder and harder and harder. Yeah. Like even like baby teeth and pink noise, like on my previous EP, like I wrote those last mm. and it's just interesting to see like, yeah, Dan Dream was our first song, you yeah. know, and then baby or yeah, baby teeth and pink noise is later when like 
eight months later when I'm like, oh, let's commit a little bit more. And they are committing more. You know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just think it's more like as I just keep allowing myself to be crazier and not think as much. <laughs> do you feel like you've you found your sound or do you feel like you're still trying to discover what like the Zoe sound really is? I don't even know. I, don't, I honestly <laughs> don't even know. Like I, I reflect on this all the time. And yeah. I'm like, have I found it? Is this who I am? <laughs> yeah, like, did I reach <laughs> that point? I don't know. I think, like, technically no, because it's, like, very early in yeah. my career. But I do think, like, by the end of this next project, I'll I'll feel pretty settled into something. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's just kind of, like, my sound is me, I guess. <laughs> so it's my sound. <laughs> with the with the gang vocals that you did on this on this track, and, like, how would you say that that impacted – the way that now you consider like what ranges or vocal tones you can hit or you can yeah. try for your, you know, upcoming music. Well, it's funny, like, and Johnny and I will like, you know, talk back through the mic and stuff and he'll be like, okay, for this one, can you do like the cat boys? Can, for this one, can you be like a grown man in the corner? You know, like, <laughs> and so now it's just like turning them on. Yeah. I've just like discovered more and more of them. That's hilarious. The little characters that I like tune into or can you be British now? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So, um, yeah, I just like, I just like really love experimenting with them. Yeah. Also, they like just are very satisfying. Like all the time I do doubles or like background, background stuff, like mm. in a British accent. And for some reason it just sounds satisfying to me. It adds something <laughs> and it, I don't know why. So yeah, I'm just experimenting. Now. I kind of want to see the stems now because I feel like he literally like named them British girl and like, no, literally. <laughs> well, we like, we didn't do like much of the British stuff for this, but we were like planning on releasing like a little like ringtone pack that would be and cool. it's just me going, you know, or like weird noises <laughs> and shit that I would like do on the mic or in the sounds yeah. and like, or yeah, my little meow and Petri dish or something. <laughs> so we're, I still, I still want to make a ringtone pack and it's just going to be like all yeah. the different, <laughs> all the different noises. <laughs> That's awesome. I, like I'm excited to see like what this live tour or live show is mm -hmm. because you have, you know, yeah, you're still relatively new in the game, but you, you do have plenty of music and every single song is something different, like mm -hmm. a different kind of taste you give us. Um, so what is that like when you're like prepping for tour, you're about to go on tour in a few days with games we play. So mm -hmm. like, what has that preparation been like for you? Yeah. Well, I said to you before, like just one-on-one, -on -one, like, um, I'm going on tour with Eli, so my my main guitarist that I've been doing mm -hmm. live shows with, which is great. So, like, we're just so locked in. He feels like a brother to me yeah. now, you know? So I'm like, eh, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> hey, we're going on tour. So. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah, just <laughs> pick me up, whatever. So, um, yeah, no, the I'll rehearsals have been really, yeah, literally. <laughs> the rehearsals have been so chill, and we're just, like, yeah, so locked in. Mm. So that feels great. I think, like, set list-wise, like, it's constantly shifted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now it is leaning more rock and stuff and, and a little more upbeat and dance and um, very heavily like inspired by Gwen's like 2000 performances yeah. and stuff. And I like watch, <laughs> watch those, watch those tapes all the time, but um, tapes, it's YouTube, but <laughs> it's all right. I mean, I've been through the tapes, right? We've I just dated myself, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know, like, yeah, I'm doing like, well, now Dirt's out. So mm. it was three unreleased stuff. So I'm mm. doing like this new unreleased song called Eat and a new unreleased song called Touch Therapy and testing it on the road and um, yeah, seeing how people respond to that and then doing Pink Noise, Baby Teeth, Love Sick in Public, nice. a little slower one with Lime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And, Dirt. <laughs> and and with, with these upcoming songs that you're going to test on the road, do you feel that they're very different to Dirt or, or very different to your previous material? Like, is this something else that you're trying to test out? No, I mean, like, it definitely is. Like, Line was a different bitch. You know, like, I don't <laughs> recognize her anymore. But, no, I feel like... So long ago. No, it was, like, literally forever <laughs> ago. But, no, I feel like even Dirt, when it does, like, come in during the set, like, it does mm. feel natural somehow. It's more just, like, this is the song that you can jump to and yeah. mosh in my set, you know, and I'm like, great. And like, I make the crowd go like down with me and they like, pop up <laughs> for the big, you know, end chorus. So it's fun. It's like a good, it's a good like moment in the set. How do you feel about like slowing things down? Like when you, when you sing line, mm -hmm. um, it's completely different from everything else. So it's, yeah. it's more mellowed out. So how does that kind of impact um, your set list? Or, or like, do you like to go back to those songs where it's like, let's just chill for a little bit mm -hmm. instead of like going crazy. <laughs> well, naturally I'm like very grateful for like a moment to like not be bouncing around. Breathe. Like, yeah, no, I literally like 
once I get that sparkly bra on or whatever, yeah. like I'm <laughs> bouncing like a little jelly bean. So or jumping bean, that's what my mom, my mom used to call Could me. Could be a jelly bean. bean. Yeah, right. jelly bean can jump, right? <laughs> but yeah, and so like finally I then get to like put the mic back on the stand yeah. and just stand there and I'm like, hey, like I'm going to sing this like slow song now. Like we just slow it down, <laughs> you know? So I'm grateful for that. But no, I feel like it also like allows me to just stand still and like mm. really focus on my like voice. Yeah. And that's always nice. I mean, like, yeah, in the heart of it, like I'm a singer and like I love, I love to sing. So. Yeah. During this experience with Johnny, what has been the biggest challenge for you that he's had you like overcome? And then how do you feel that you challenge him at the same time? Yeah. I mean, like we are so like family in that yeah. room, you know, where we're just like, fighting and being like can you stop like I really don't like that lyric <laughs> you know like but then we're laughing by the end of it as well or yeah. and I've cried with him whatever so I feel like yeah I mean like he's just one of my like the closest people in my life now and so to get to create music with him is just so like freeing and liberating and um yeah I don't know I think like naturally we just like constantly push each other and we yeah. are both so individually like driven that we just have to keep up with each other constantly too. So it's just like really easy to naturally push each other. Right. I love how when I listen to your music, like I said, I'm a two year old baby with your or two day old baby with your music, <laughs> but I feel like I've been listening to been it for a long, long time. I'm like, man, I go way back. But, <laughs> but when I listen to it, 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 um, uh, the sound, as we keep mentioning, is very scatterbrain. So hey. I'm curious. I would love, I would love, I would love a collaboration with MA. Yeah. So is that something that maybe we can like look into in the future, whether it's like something like in, in the writing process or even just like the way that you guys kind of create your music? Because both of you have incredible like kind of styles and sounds mm. at the same time. I love her. She's like literally my best friend. We were watching Love is Blind <laughs> together the other night being like, this Dangerous. is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I adore her. We just like happened to not ever like do a session together because yeah. like we became like best friends first. So yeah. now we're just like, it's like no, this is weird. Yeah, we right. Like, what this. are you gonna do? Like, go into the session and be like, Serena, like, work now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so now that's just like, but I'm so down. Yeah, I'm so down. Please, I'll hit her Emily, up. please, let's make it happen somehow. <laughs> Emily, <laughs> please. Emily, text me. <laughs> yes, please, please, please. We need another LA show too. Like both of you true. together. True. I think that'd be mm -hmm. sick. I know she's doing her LA show and um. I'm not even going to be here and I'm sad, but it's fine. <laughs> Horrible. I'll hit the next one. What a friend. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so close this out during this entire experience, whether it's just on dirt or just the entire experience of trying to kind of discover yourself and your sound. What have you learned about yourself that you were either unaware of or like you were pretty stubborn about? I don't think I realized how repressed I was <laughs> as a person, like just like growing up, like growing up in New York, like yeah. I was like, Oh my God, like the whole world's my oyster. Like I can do whatever. And even though I did have a lot of freedom and stuff, mm. like I had so many other things like oppressing me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I think like, yeah, with, with even dirt, like representing that, like, I just feel like slowly I'm coming into myself as a person and as a woman, you know, mm. like fully. And that's like interesting. And I think that's just like <laughs> coming out in my music and in my brand. And, um, yeah, I just think I'm like, fully living life yeah. now which Good. is weird <laughs> Good. but exciting yeah <laughs> well i'm excited to see what the future holds for you i'm excited for this tour that you have going on about to kick off with games we play so you guys be sure to check out zoe co new single dirt is out now she's going on tour in the next few days with games we play up until may up which until is may. gonna be incredible so be sure to check <laughs> her out time. and thank you so much for watching here on front row live if you enjoyed this interview please click subscribe there's tons more on the channel and thanks for watching